Hey guys, it's Hey to Boot, and welcome to my first video of 2021. It's a BDO class overview with both PvP and PvE rankings. Now, just a note on this: all the PvE rankings are taken from actual in-game data at certain AP points. The data is from basically ranked from C, which is the lowest, and S, which is the highest for PvE. PvE data can all be found on BDO Hub. Obviously, there's a link down below, and PvP rankings are basically based on my opinion. So they might be wrong, but hopefully, it'll give you a bit of an idea of where you're favorite class might stand if you think about re-rolling. So on the screen is a little example of how we're going to do this. The first sheet will show you all the PvE stuff and I'm going to go through it very quickly. PvE easy is basically just when you're doing grinding and stuff which is the easiest spot. Just saying how it will do. Obviously the areas below are all linked to the actual data so at the bottom I do the PvE hard which is just an average of those four areas. The PvP one quite simply is PvP 1v1 obviously that stands for itself. General PvE it's just talking about how it does in groups, out world, you know, out in the open world. Just general PvP. And the overall score, which will come right at the end, is an average. It's basically adding everything together and ranking it. So PvP and PvE. And one last thing before I forget. The clips in the background, yes, they are me playing them. But I don't play most of these classes again. Like I said, there's 40 different specs that we're going to go through. So it's just giving you a taste and a flavour of how the moves look. So please don't go saying, oh, you're not doing the right combo. Trust me, I know I'm not. I've not learned hardly any of these. I'm just, you know, trying to show what they look like. Anyway, let's jump into it and hope you enjoy. So let's look at the Awakened Warrior. First, we're going to look at the PvE rate rankings. So for PvE and basically easy stuff overall, it's a B plus. It can clear quite nicely. Ackman, solid A. Hystria, A. Starzen, A plus. Sakrya, B. So overall, looking at the hard stuff, an A. Pretty solid. For PvP, it does really well in 1v1s, a solid A+, and in general, there's always a spot for Warrior, giving this class an overall A. Now, to the Succession Warrior. Looking at the PvE, we have overall an A+, for the easy stuff. Ackman, A+, History of B, Starzen, A, Sakrya, A, and overall for all the hard stuff, an A. Now, this did get dropped after it's had a few nerfs, but hey, it's pretty much in line. Now, if we look at the PvP, again, this sort of went down a bit after the nurse, but 1v1s, B+, in general, B+, overall, A, not bad. So, the Ranger and the Awaken Ranger are that. Now, for PvE easy, this is a nice one, an A+, it's very nice to shoot things. Sadly, it doesn't do so well in Ackman with a C, Hystria A, Starzen A, and also Sakrya a C, giving it a PV overall rating of a B. Now, if we look at PvP, 1v1s, A, these can do really well, but they just take a bit to master. In general, PvP, probably a B, uh, which gives them overall a B+. Plus. Hmm, fine. So, let's look at the range of succession. Range succession, A+, plus for easy PvE. This can clear stuff very nicely. Ackman, a C, but Hystria, A+, plus, Starzen, A+, plus, Sakrya, a B, given an overall PvE hard rating of a B+. Plus. Again, not too bad. If we look at PvP, it's not so good. In 1v1s, a D, and in general, PvP, we're just going to give it a B+, plus, but it does nice in group stuff, giving it overall a B+. Plus. The Berserker Awakening. Here we go. So, for PvE, A. For Ackman, only a C, but Hystria, an A+, plus, Stars N, B, Sakrya, B, and PV overall, A, B+. Plus. So, if we look at the PvP side, it looks slightly different with a B plus for 1v1, but an A plus in team fights. Obviously, this class is quite nice in raid type stuff, giving it an overall of B plus. The Berserker Succession. Now, PvE easy, a B. Ackman, a B. Hystria, an A. Starzend, an A. Sakrya, a B. And overall for PvE, we've given it a B plus, taking those averages. Now, for PvP, a B plus. And in general, PvP, again, a B+. Plus. So overall, we've given this class a B+, plus, because it had so many of them. Valkyrie Awakening. Valkyrie Awakening, PvE easy, is an A+. Plus. Atman doesn't do so well in a D. Hystria, very solid A. Stars N, A. Sakrya, B. So overall, for those hard places, a B. Not too bad at all. In PvP, we say for 1v1, a solid B. And overall, in PvP, an A, giving the class a B+. Plus. The Succession Valkyrie. For grinding easy stuff, a B. Ackman does so well, has some mega high trash at S+. Plus. Hystria, an A+, plus. Star's End, an A. Sakrya, B. So overall, at the hard places, an A+. Plus. 
Now looking at PvP, we give it a B plus for 1v1s, and in general, an A, giving the class overall an A. The Wizard Awakening. So, <laughs> at PvE, this is an S, it's really nice to do easy stuff. Ackman, a B, History, a D. Starzen, B, Sakrya, D. Overall, C. Yeah, but luckily the succession is better, as we all know. For 1v1s, B+, plus, even though it does have the grab, it still suffers from a few things. But in general, an A. Teams like these, so overall, B for everything. Wizard Succession, here's the powerhouse. So, PvE, easy, S, yeah, clear things, huge AOE. Ackman, S, History, S, Stars End, A, Sakrya, B. Giving it an overall at all the hard places, an A+, plus, which is pretty solid and puts it in a nice position overall. In PvP, 1v1s has an A, the double teleport is very nice. And in general, this is an S class for PvP. And overall, looking at PvE and PvP, S, very easy. Witch, Awakening Witch first. So, PvE, again, very nice, big AoE, A+, plus. Ackman, B, History, A, Stars N, B, Sakrya, B. Overall, all hard spots, basically a B+, plus. not too shabby there. And for 1v1s, we'll give it a B. And for general PvP and A+, plus, again, the casters have a really nice place, giving it an overall of an A. The Witch Succession, another powerhouse. So, PvE, it's an S uh, for easy stuff. Ackman, S, Histria, S, Star's End, an A, Sakrya, B. And overall, for those hard places, an S, looking at their scores. It's not bad, and it's a very strong class for doing this. 1v1's an A. And in general, PvP, an, an S, very easily an S. So overall, this is another S tier spec. The Tamer, the Awakened Tamer. So for PvE, easy. It's quite nice. It's A, it's got a nice little bit of AoE. Uh, Ackman, B. Histria, B. Stars N, B. Sakrya, B. So surprise, surprise. Overall, for PvE, hard, a B. 1v1's got an S+, plus, and in general PvP we've given it an A, so all in all for PvE and PvE we've, we've rated it as an A, which is pretty nice. Now, the Tamer Succession. Um, well, basically, for PvE it's, it's a B, it has some nice big AoEs, but all the numbers that high in places were pretty medium. Ackman B, History of B, Stars N B, Sakrya B, so overall, like I said, it's averaged out B. Now for PvE, uh, PvP, sorry, 1v1's a, a B, but in general PvP a D, they're just not that loved, but overall, it's a B. The Maywa, the Awakened Maywa, I do like this class. PvE for easy, it's a B, uh, you've got limited AoE. Doesn't do so well in Ackman, so it's a D there. Histria, A, Stars End, D, Sakrya, C, PvE overall is a C. Now for 1v1's, it's a B. And in general, it, for like, this is world PvP and all this stuff like that, a B. So overall, the class only got a C+. Plus. But luckily, the succession may work does it a lot better in some areas. So in easy grinding, it's a B+. Plus. In Ackman, it's a C. History, a solid A. Stars End, A. Sakrya, A. Which means overall, at these hard places, a B+. Plus, which isn't too shabby. For PvP, for 1v1s, a B+. Plus, and again... For general PvP, it's B plus. So overall, looking at the PvP and PvE, it has a B plus. The Awakened Musa. So this is fantastic at low level grinding and at those higher spots because you just rush through. Hence the S. Uh, Ackman a B. History C. Stars N C. Sakrya C. PvE overall or oh, hard PvP. Hard PvE is a, is. A, as it said there. <laughs> 1v1's a B. In general for PvP, it's a B plus. So overall for the class PvP and PvE, a B. The Succession Musa. For easy PvP, it's an A. For Ackman, it's an S. Histria, A. Stars N, C. Sakrya, B. PV overall, a B plus. Not as good as some of the other successions for grinding, but still better than the Awakening, hey? So for 1v1s, a B+, plus, this can do really well, and obviously in group PvP, etc. General, we've just given it a B+. Plus. But overall, this class is definitely, or this spec, is a solid A. Now the Awakened Ninja. Uh, this takes a little bit of getting used to for, for grinding low-level stuff, and obviously the AoE is slightly limited, but still. Ackman to C, Histria A, Stars N B, Sakrya a D, so overall at the hard places, it's a C+. Plus. 
but don't worry, PvP comes alive. 1v1s, a solid S, and in general, these will always have a spot, a nice A. So overall, this class, we've given it A, B. The Succession Ninja. A in PvEZ, it moves quite well. Ackman, B. History, S. Starzen, A. Sakraya, B. And PvE hard overall, a nice A. This is a really nice succession for this class. Helps it grind a lot. For PvP, it's also an S tier. And for general PvP everywhere, I would say an A plus is always a spot. Overall, looking at these two lots of data, and an A plus, very easy. The Kuno, the Awakened Kuno. PvE, A, easy is an A. Ackman B, Histria A+, Stars N D, Sakraya D, <laughs> BV then over, hard overall, a C plus, but don't worry, the succession will pull it back. Though saying that, for PvP, solid in 1v1s, a very solid A plus. So in general PvP and A, there's always a spot for a Kuno. We give this class a B plus. The Kuno succession. Good class. PvE easy. A, Ackman, B, Histria, A+, Stars M, B, Sakraya, B. So overall, for all those hard places, we've given her a B+, for those averages. Now, if you look at her PvP, she does very nicely. 1v1s, easily an S, and in general, PvP and A+, decent bit of AoE and control and good damage. Overall, PvE and PvP, an A. The Awakened Dark Knight. For easy grinding, it's an A. It clears quite nicely, good movement. Ackman, B, History of C, Stars N, C, Sakraya, C, PV overall, C+. Plus. I think this is somewhere, some, uh, a spec that needs a little bit of love, let's be fair. Uh, 1v1s, I'd say a B, and in general PvP, it's a C. There's just not so many spots for Awakened Dark Knight. Overall, looking at the two lots, a B. But the succession does have a slightly different story, luckily. So for PvP, e, PvE easier, a B plus, Ackman A, History of B, Stars N B, Sakraya B, PV hard overall, a B plus. That's not too bad for grinding, so it does quite well there. When it comes to PvP, it's a very solid A plus. It's, it can be quite hard to catch, and in general PvP a B plus. So overall for PvE and PvP, B plus, not too shabby. The Striker, this is an interesting one. These guys came out of nowhere. PV easy. I'm just going to give it a B. It's, it's still a bit long to do these some of these easy places. But looking at their tier, the loots that they get, A+, plus and Ackman, History, A+, plus, Stars N, A+, plus, Sakraya, A+. Plus. So overall, these easy places, A+. Plus. 1v1s, Wake and Strike does quite nicely. A very solid A. Could be a bit of A+, plus, but still. General PvP, B+. Plus. So overall for this class, an A+. Plus. The Succession Striker. Spoiler, gods at grinding. PV easy, okay, B, but for looking at the loot, Ackman S, History S, Stars and S, Sakrai S, PV hard overall S. This class is pretty much the god tier of when it comes to grinding in PVE. 1v1s and A, uh, they are a bit clunky compared to some other classes, and in general PVE and like groups of C. Overall though, this class solid A+. The Awakened Mystic. So PvE easy is an S. You just have so much survivability, decent AOE. It's you're never gonna die. Ackman though a D. History A. Stars N B. Sakraya B. PvE hard overall. Pretty B. Fairly decent, solid. One v ones an A plus. A lot of control here. Obviously a decent damage. General PvP A plus. So overall a B plus. But a general PvP wasn't they? <laughs> Succession Mystic. For PvE, easy grinding, we've given it an A. Ackman B, History at A, Stars N B, Sakraya B, PvE hard, overall, a B plus. This has done pretty well, but then again, the Awakening wasn't too bad for grinding, so that would make sense. For 1v1s, a B plus. In general PvP, we put it down to B, just because it doesn't have that extra slow type stuff, but overall, a B plus, not too bad. Sork, the Awakened Sork. For PvE grinding, this is an A. It's quite nicely just shredding through things with spinny spinny death death. Ackman though, a D. History A. Stars N B. Sakraya B. PvP hard overall A B. Not too bad. For PvP, a solid S tier. Lots of iframes. And in group play, in general PvP, an A+. So this class overall, or spec, I should keep saying, is a B+. The Succession Sork. For easy grinding, is an S. It has lots of damage and decent AoE. In Ackman, it's a B. History at S. Stars and A. Sakraya A. And hard PvP, PvE overall, a solid A if you take those averages. 
For 1v1s, this is an A-plus class. It did get a few nerfs, but still. General PvP, A-plus, still nice damage. Overall, an A-plus spec, very nice. The Awaken Larn. PvE easy, an A-plus, it can fly around quite nicely. Ackman B, History of B, Stars MB, Sakrai B. What a surprise, the average of those four high places is a B. <laughs> Who'd have thought, hey? Now, PvP where she shines, 1v1, an S. Clearly an S, huge grab, mad. But for group play, PvP in general is B+, plus, so we've given this class a B plus overall. The Succession Lan, slightly different story for PvE. PvE S, uh, Ackman S, History A, Stars N A, Sakrya B. PvE overall, if you take the average, gives you an A. Pretty nice, pretty solid. As far as PvP, does have some nice iframes and defense, so an A doesn't have that grab though. General PvP B+, so overall we've given this class an A+, taking those averages. The Archer, do love this class as well. PvE easy, an S, Ackman A, History A, Stars N B, Sakrya A, and PvE then as an average of them is an A. Fairly solid, but you know, I still think needs some buffs. This should be a little bit higher, but never mind. That's <laughs> just me, I like this class. 1v1s, it's an A, you are still a CC bot from afar, though you are a bit weaker now. General, A, that overall, lots of A's, what a surprise, it's an A. The Shy, ugh, some people love it, I know. So if PvE easy, it's a B+, plus. it's not great. C in Ackman, D in History, D in Stars End, B in Sakrya, PvE overall, a C. Though I will say, though, this class can go and grind these areas with lower AP fairly easily, it's just other classes do it better with higher AP. 1v1's F, just don't do it, you can't do it. I know someone's going to link me the video, the guy can, but you can't. General PvP A, so overall for this class, A, C+. The Awakened Guardian. Here we go, PvE easy S, this class has got more AoE than just AoE has itself. Ackman A, History A, Stars N B, Sakrya C. Overall PvE hard for those four places has an average of a B+. 1v1's is an A, and general group PvP is an A+. Groups love these. These do sick AoE damage and a tanky as well. So overall, an A. The Guardian Succession. Uh, this is a B plus for PvE easy. The Ackman grinding is a B. History is B. Stars and B. Sakrya C. PV overall B. Basically, Awaken was sort of like the love child for Guardian, it seemed, for grinding, but Succession has its, has its niches and its plays. 1v1s, B. In general, Guru play, a plus, again, they're quite tanky, good AoE damage, it's quite nice, so B plus overall. The Awaken Hasashin, people have been waiting for these, so I put them at the end, more for. PV clearing is an A, Ackman A plus, History A, Stars N A, Sakrya B, and PVE hard overall is an A plus, uh, A at those averages. It has some really nice damage, good grinding abilities. 1v1, a solid A, nice grab, it takes a bit of getting used to, but very good. In general, PVP, a B. But overall, this class is an A. Very nice class. The Hassassin, the Succession Hassassin. For grinding easy, it's an A. Ackman B, but here's where it shines. Histria S, Stars N S, Sakrya S. So there's an average of those four, an A+. Plus. This does do great damage, especially when you ramp it all up. 1v1s, an A, it can jump around, do nice damage. In general PvP, B, it's lackluster in some areas. So overall, though, A+, plus. very good PvE stuff. Here we go, Nova, it's what people are waiting, waiting for. The Nova Awakening, PvE easy, A, Ackman, A, History, A, Stars N, B, Sakrya, C. So those averages are B+. Plus. Now remember, we only have limited data on the Nova, so this could change, but very tanky, has its place, and big AoE as well. 1v1, this is a B+, plus, and in general, a B, though I think uh, in PvP in general, and over the other class is a B+, plus, but I'll talk more about this later, or just after. The Nova Succession. So here we have a PvE easy for A. This is amazing uh, uh, Ackman, just because of its huge AoE, it just kills everything. History of B, Stars N, B, Sakrya C, PvE hard overall, A, B+. Plus. And looking at PvP, it's a B, but the general PvP with group stuff as well is an A. So it's not too bad, but an overall A, B+. Plus. There you go, 40 specs. I've tried to do it as quick as I can, and I'd apologise if you wanted more data, but... It's just one of those things with 40 specs. If you know, if I put a minute into each one, it's a 40 minute video. So I really don't want to do that. Anyway, 
just some points to go forward. All the data is over at BDO Hub if you want to go check that out, or at least will be up within the next 24, 48 hours of me releasing this video. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to get it up there. I do apologise it's taking me so long to get the Hasashin data up, but it has got the Hasashin and also the Nova stuff up as well. If you don't agree with any of this, that's perfectly fine. Like I said, it is based off actual numbers, but hey, people get better, people change things, and so the numbers change. So please feel free if you're on the site as well to submit your data as well. It does get checked, it does get redone. I go through this data so much, but as you guess, with 40 specs, it's a nightmare to do it all, but still. It's definitely, definitely worth it in the long run. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully it's been useful and informative. Uh, I didn't say tier list in this video because I'll do that in a second one, given all those rankings I've given each class to make a little video. But still, hopefully that's been informative for you if you're looking at re-rolling or you just wanted to see how your class is doing. Or maybe you're brand new to the game and you've listened through the whole thing. In that case, thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and take care. Speak to you soon, guys. Bye.